Hello there! I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to History of Turrican. I mentioned in our last episode, there have been several remakes of Turrican in the years following its original release. Sadly, most of these have been discontinued, abandoned, or have otherwise fallen by the wayside. The most notable of these is Windstiller. The backstory actually includes a female protagonist and talks of multiple suits. However, production seems to have stalled as the last update was August 31st, 2011. Still, there have been a few successes, most notably the recent Dreamcast and Neo Geo release, Gunlord. But today, we're going to take a look at three of the PC remakes, Hurricane, T2002, and T4 Funeral. Once again, you are cast as a lone soldier against a terrible evil. And across several cavernous and inventive levels, you must defeat all comers and save the day. The main features of this game are pre-rendered graphics, four selectable difficulty settings, between level saves, and the ability to switch weapons on the fly. It even comes with its own level editor, so that you can make your own challenge. This game catches the feel of Turrican, and the music, while not entirely Hillsbeck level, does suit its respective terrain well. The sprites are great, being that they're pre-rendered, and there's a tinge of humour about the whole experience. It's not perfect though, I was stuck on how to reach a platform or beat a boss on more than one occasion, and the time limits only go up to 950 seconds, about 15 minutes, so you'd better not linger. In summary then, this is a fine tribute to the Turrican games, and proof positive that the genre should survive into the 21st century. This game strives to be a replica of the Amiga version of Turrican 2, albeit with a different level set. The story, if there is one, casts you once again as Bren Maguire, ready to save the universe from the villainous machine. As with Hurricane, T2002 has its own level editor, so that you can create the next challenge for our hero and see what other fans have come up with. This is the authentic Turrican experience. It even includes the option to use the original TFMX files from the actual games as background music. The levels are huge packed with secrets and extras, and massively replayable. But if you're looking for a new twist on the franchise, you're out of luck. No, this isn't a shocking departure from the standard. Then again, when you're creating a love letter to a 16-bit masterpiece, this is no bad thing. It may not be new, it may not be different, but this is Turrican. Turrican fan Gert Ludek, alias Dex, completely reskinned the T2002 engine to create his own spin on the mythos. As ever, a nameless hero stands against the darkness, this time in the form of old enemy the machine, and only one warrior can defeat it, armed with a technological battle suit. Using as it does the T2002 engine, the physics and bounciness are the same, the monster AI is similar, and the level transitions don't greatly differ. Dex's robotic designs offer a steely take on the classic foes of the series, 
And while the flesh level is more Khan Guignol than Geiger, it's a welcome, if slightly squeaky, break. Overall, it's still Turrican-y at heart, even without the fact of five graphics and Guildspec's tunes. And whatever complaints I may have, I can honestly say that it's a better game than Universal Soldier. But we've talked enough about Universal Soldier. Anyway, that concludes my look at the Turrican fan games on PC. In our next episode, we're coming right up to date, as we check out the Turrican soundtrack anthology and follow the history of this project. Bye now!